Hey, so I made these cute mushroom centerpieces last week and I want to show you how I made them. It was a fairy theme party, so let's see how I made them. I basically started with, uh, with a very a piece of styrofoam, it was just randomly cut. It was supposed to be a slightly round shape, it's about uh, three, three, four inches thick. It doesn't have to be a perfect round shape, just something that looks round. So you could start cutting off the pieces that you don't need to create the mushroom top. And that's what I'm doing here. Um, <laughs> also note, this is not, it's, it's, it's not, uh, what's that word now? It's going to be dirty. Not dirty, but there's going to be a lot of styrofoam pieces all over you. So dress. For this brace yourself so let's go to fast forward and uh yeah let's end it right yes that was so that is my wire brush tool the wire brush if you're going to be doing a lot of styrofoam carving you would it would definitely come in handy So these are the two pieces I have carved out of that block of styrofoam. And now I'm going to take a water break. <laughs> I'm back to work. So I'm sort of like chiseling or cutting in so that I can get some pieces out to create this bowl like shape. You know, the sense is just a mushroom I'm making. I'm just going to keep carving out get the shape that I'm trying to create. Again, I'm using my wire brush to, it, it, quick, it helps you quickly, you know, <laughs> it makes it, um, bringing a shape out of a, a form quicker. Let's, let, yeah, let's, let's put it that, that, that way. Now I'm done and um, this is another way you can do this. You can just get a styrofoam ball, cut it in half. So I'm making four mushrooms. Two of them will be from the styrofoam ball while the other two are the ones I created or carved out from the basic shape, from the basic round styrofoam block shape. So those are the two ways you can go about this. So these are two types, the one, the styrofoam, half of a styrofoam ball and the other piece that I carved out. Now I want to make the what's it called now? This stem. The stem of the of the, of the mushroom. And these are just pieces of styrofoam lying around in my studio. I'm just cutting out um I think about four or five inches of a block to create the stem. Yeah. That's done now. My daughter visiting. <laughs> She's so pretty, and she likes to help out. My, my daughters, both of them, like to help out when I'm working. Sometimes they distract me, but they're so cute.
So now I'm going to sand. <laughs> My daughter left because she doesn't like the sound. I'm just going to sand down uh, to smoothen the my the, the top of the mushroom basically i'm going to sand everything to make it salt ideally i would have liked like what i usually do after sanding is to put the uh, resin all over the epoxy resin but i don't have time for for that for this project i have to deliver literally uh, in 24 hours so this would just be a quick a quick one i would just Coat it with uh, glue. This is me putting the stem and the top together. All I did was just use hot glue, hot glue gun to stick them together. I also used this grass stick to connect the top and the stem just for extra strength or something. Yeah. So there it is. Mushrooms are ready. So I'm using a sandpaper here just for some extra detail or extra smoothing, nothing serious. So we're done. Now the next stage is to prime. Remember I said earlier that I would have liked to use resin. And that would start something I'll do after this process, after coating. I'm just using top bond, top bond is um, EVA glue. For I'm just using that to coat as my base coat. If I had a time after this is dried, I would use epoxy resin. I just somehow prefer to to do that. But I'm not going to be doing that for these. I'll just use the top bond. Uh, thickly i'm not mixing it with water or anything just directly from the bucket and then i would wait for it to dry i'm going to leave it overnight so that it dries well and then i'll be using acrylic to finish it up i don't know who i'm talking to here but i'm talking to somebody that's making me laugh i think my husband okay so this is the last stage now i am going to paint i'm using acrylic paint the client requested a, a, a lilac mushroom so that's what we're using here lilac i'm painting 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 yeah my girls are around to <laughs> help let's 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 put it at that around to help I could it dries pretty fast so uh, this just took uh, a couple of hours to dry If you notice I added a round base um, of the round base at the bottom so the mushrooms can stand well. It's a foam board, I think about four inches diameter round foam board at the base just so the mushrooms can stand without falling. Okay, yeah, I'm painting the base or so the stem of the mushroom with some beige like things. I'm adding some extra detail. I use just white, white um, acrylic paints to add the, those spots on the mushrooms. If it was time, I would have probably done something with a bit more detail. Probably using foam, expanding foam to create 
those round like spots or bezels on mushrooms but for now this will do and there you go mushrooms are ready let me know what you think or if you'll be trying this out if you have any questions please ask below and don't forget to subscribe thank you